Hi everybody, I'm Chris and today we are taking a look at how to make this carpet and how to spread it on a random surface. So for the carpet, like always, we start with a simple surface and this surface maybe something like this and this now we want to flood with a carpet. Therefore we need some carpet files and I will create a simple simple carpet part, a little carpet piece that will look something like this. I will tessellate it not too high. Maybe I can delete one of these edges to make it real really low poly. Then I will extend it maybe here that it looks something like this. So, uh, problem right now is that the surface looks very very edgy but that's okay because we can go to mesh display soft edges then Maya tries to smooth the surfaces. Yes of course it's not smooth but it looks a little bit smoother than in this mode. If I go to hard edges it looks pretty pretty hard. So make sure to go to the soft edges. Also, I can maybe delete this face here because we don't see it and I don't need it. Then I will bring my object to the world center and I move it up that the pivot is at the world center and my object is above it modify freeze transformation and maybe uh, maybe I will scale it a little bit smaller I can also do this later on but in this way it's a little bit easier so I scale it smaller modify freeze transformation and that's it okay next thing I want to do is I want to create a mesh network so I select my carpet module I go to mesh and I create a network and here under distribute I can create a mesh, a mesh condition that means that I can bring in some input here. And here I will drag and drop with the middle mouse button my carpet and put it here. And now there is not so much happening. You can see some carpet pieces are spreading right now but it's not enough. So what I want to do is I can go to random vertex that means that all of the carpet pieces get spread on random vertex and I can go to flood mesh to flood my mesh. But problem right now is you can see on the one side the parts are in the wrong direction and the other problem is that they are only get projected on the vertexes. What means just here are vertex also in the top but here the tessellation is not right so um, there's a problem because of the tessellation. If I would create some more vertices here, you can see immediately the carpet is spreading here. So what can I do to make this look a little bit better? I can first go to voxel. That's one opportunity I can uh, use. And right now you can see the voxels don't work that great but I can go under the voxel settings and scale down the voxel size and now you can see the pieces get spread better and better the smaller I get. Problem is they will not match 100% the surface even if I go down pretty pretty low I will get not the best result. Yes, for sure it's better because it gets spread a little bit better, but it's not sticking to the surface perfect. So what can I do? I will just duplicate this object and what I can do now is I can smooth it. But the problem is when I smooth it, the vertex size is also not the same. So it's a little bit hard to, uh, to make this pretty good. So even if I uh, scale it smaller, or turn up the smoothness, the problem stays the same. So what I can do is I go to mesh, remesh and be careful if you have a small or a big adjustment here it can take years. So I click remesh and 
you can see the mesh now gets remeshed with uh, just triangles. And now, for example, with the upper part, I can steer the size and with the collapse threshold, I can steer the, the randomness more or less. You can see if I turn it up, the sizes of the triangles get a little bit more um, regular than if I turn it down. Like you can see here, there are smaller ones and bigger ones, but if I turn it up, it gets pretty um, unregular, uh, pretty regular. So I can go down with the size here. Be careful, like I mentioned before, if you go too high, it can totally crash your computer. So we will go to something like this. I think that's enough for the first one. And now I just go to my mesh network and I replace my carpet with the new carpet I have created. And in the mesh network, I also go to, to the distribute and I don't tick voxel, I take face center. And now you can see it gets spreaded much, 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 much better. Now I just had to look for the angle of all my little carpet pieces. And this I do in the mesh editor here. I go on plus, I make offset and I'm turning all 90 degrees in the right direction. And now you can see that looks not that bad. What I now can do is I can add some random node and with the random node, I can adjust the position, but this is not what I want to do. I can adjust, for example, the set size, and then you can see they get scaled in a different way. And I also can play around with the X and Y coordinates. Don't be too big with these values, but you can play around a lot of th with them. So now it looks not that bad, but the problem is all of my carpet pieces are looking in the same direction. So next step I can do is, is I activate my carpet module again. I hide this. And with my carpet module selected, I can do different transformations and different animations on this part. So for example, I can do a lattice on it, I go in the lattice point mode with the right mouse button. I select all and I can just play around with it. And you can see in the background that all of these pieces gets stretched around. But that's not enough. So what I now do is I bring it in a cool shape, select all, pressing S on the keyboard to make some keyframe. Then I go to frame 50 and move the lattice in another direction. Maybe something like this. And I press S on the keyboard again with all my points selected. And that's not too bad. I also can do more modifiers on this, but we will leave it with this. And now you can see it's a little bit more wiggly, but they are looking pretty, pretty much the same. So what I can do is in my random node, I can activate the rotate and also the local position. So now I have to look which axis we want. We want the Z axis. 360 degrees and it looks much more wobbly just because of this randomness and what I also want to do is I want to add the time value and in time I go on frame 0 as the starting point and frame 50 as the end and the stagger is also 50 and now it has to load a little bit and it looks more random than before because now Maya tries to make all these single frames that we have made 
to bring in our um, in our animation. So what we can do to make this more extreme, to make it more visible is if I add another deformer, if I add the bent deformer, for example, um, what I do is I deactivate my mesh for this short time so it don't have to buffer all the time in the background and I just will attach this band deformer. How the band deformer works I will not explain specially. So I just bend it in this direction, make a keyframe, go to frame zero and set the keyframe. So I had multiple animations on my part and like before I just had to activate the time node and now you can see my carpet is pretty pretty crazy it looks pretty uh, random also what I can do now is I can play with the size maybe the thickness or I can just adjust my mesh and make a little bit more pulleys to make the carpet a little bit denser that's it that's it for now thanks for watching and see you next time